Hey guys, this is Sam with Hudson. I just wanted to go over today headland control in the Gen 4 and Gen 5 display and some of the updates they've made. Uh, so previously uh, for headland control, if we went into menu, applications, and then scroll down and found your section control, you could come in here and turn your section control on and then you would have the ability to turn headland control on and then to find uh, how big your headlands are down here. You could say, you know, 40 feet, 80 feet, 120 feet. Um, but now uh, they are having you go into the Fields and Boundaries app. So you can click that little yellow arrow and take you directly to the Fields and Boundaries. And so what you'll have to do is actually go into the exterior boundary and then edit your exterior boundary. And then here you will have the option to go in with, with a, a few different options for uh, creating headlands. So the most commonly used one I would say would be a constant offset. So it's going to put however long or however wide of a perimeter around the field. So for example, let's just do 80 feet. So we do 80 feet. It's going to do a constant offset of 80 feet all the way around my exterior boundary. Again, that's probably the most commonly used one. Uh, you do have the option to come in and come in here now and do a top and bottom offset. So you can do this based off a heading angle. And then you can also come down here and change uh, different uh, different widths based off the top and the bottom. As far as if you wanted one wider and wanted one a little more narrow, you can come in here and change that offset as well. Uh, but again, our most common one used to be that constant offset. So we would come in here. Uh, select constant, type in however big of offset we want, hit save. So now that we've hit saved, you can see over here we have our uh, interior, or sorry, our, um, our uh, headland here. And then we can exit out of this. And turn on our... Uh, exterior and interior boundaries, and then we can come in here and turn on headline control. And now you'll see we have that offset button. Uh, we don't have the ability to go in here and change it here. You have to go in through uh, your fields and boundaries app to change how wide that offset is. So if you wanted to change it based off operation, uh, what, what they're wanting you to do now is to utilize your headlands through Operation Center. So going into Operation Center and creating headlands there and saving them. Uh, but if you still want to create them through the display, you can. Uh, just a little bit different way to go in and do it.